Alrighty guys, we are just one week away from Star Wars Celebration, which is going to be the time and place of the official debut of the teaser trailer by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, it's crazy that we are only one week away at this point. You know, time really did fly by and a lot of people are really just excited and fascinated about this movie and exactly what the film is going to be called and exactly what will be demonstrated within the teaser trailer which we will be going over today we are just seven days away from of course april 12th next week which will be the debut of the teaser trailer now what's really exciting about the teaser for star wars episode 9 by disney lucasfilm jj and crew is that it's described that one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm for Star Wars Episode 9's teaser trailer at Celebration is to demonstrate three key things in the film that will play vital roles in the story. It's described that the final cut of the teaser after going through some major changes not too long ago will demonstrate the controversial MacGuffin of the film. The MacGuffin is said to have connections to the prequels and originals and will be demonstrated in the footage. It's described that this is done to keep fans talking Talking until the second trailer's release, as the MacGuffin in the movie is said to be like a puzzle. The next aspect of Episode 9 that will be demonstrated in the teaser will tease the Darth Vader side of the story that will be teased to let fans know that nostalgia will be the backdrop of the film. It's described to be likely Darth Vader's melted helmet that will be teased as Kylo interacts with it without his helmet on this time. The third thing that is set to be demonstrated in the teaser trailer has to do with the teasing of the connections to the prequels and the originals in the background to get fans wild at celebration. It said that there is going to be a big money shot at the very end of the teaser, as well as one that surpasses the Chewie We're Home moment in the Force Awakens trailer. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this, and that's really, you know, standing out to me is, of course, the one that has to do with the MacGuffin. In case you guys have no idea what that word really is, I know that that word is, you know, annoying to some of you guys out there, and I don't blame you. It is a really weird word that's used, you know, in a lot of movies out there. But MacGuffin basically is a plot device that moves the characters forward. So when we look at, you know, The Force Awakens, the map of Luke Skywalker is the MacGuffin of that story. So the MacGuffin in Star Wars Episode 9 is really going to be the focus of the actual plot of the movie and that's going to be demonstrated in the actual teaser trailer that actually does also have a connection to the prequels in the originals. So that whole entire side of the story in Episode 9 will actually be demonstrated in the teaser trailer at Celebration. The other aspect has to do with exactly how Darth Vader is going to loom in the background within the teaser trailer that will also be demonstrated, giving us, of course, you know, the clue about nostalgia being a vital role in, of course, the story of the final film of the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga. So nostalgia is always great, right? As long as it's done right and as long as it's not thrown in there for, you know, whatever reason that J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio have, you know, their reasons into doing that. As long as it has a lot of purpose and meaning, I think that nostalgia is great. You know, I think that if you look at The Force Awakens, the Darth Vader melted helmet was legendary. It really was. It was a great callback and a continuation of Return of the Jedi. So moving past all of this, all right, the last piece that really does get me very excited is that prequel trilogy continuity as well as original trilogy connections will also be demonstrated in the Star Wars Episode 9 teaser trailer at Celebration next Friday. So, like I say, you can already see how Disney and Lucasfilm are really playing their cards right with the teaser. Three key things here, alright? We're talking about the MacGuffin of the movie being demonstrated in the trailer, which is going to be the basic, you know, glue that holds the plot together. And then you have nostalgia that's also going to be demonstrated in the trailer itself that has a lot to do with Darth Vader's involvement in this movie. Like I say, it's likely going to be something to do with Darth Vader's melted helmet and or armor in the film that we have been hearing about. And of course, the other aspect has all to do with connections to the past that will also be shown in the actual teaser trailer. So guys, like I say, this is a step in the right direction for a good teaser after coming out of The Last Jedi and the backlash that went along with it, and how it affected the solo Star Wars story box office results, which hence then changed Disney and Lucasfilm's plans for the next 10 years. 
You know, they had to really go through a clean slate for Star Wars as a whole, and that's exactly why the new Star Wars trilogy is their priority right now after Episode Nine. So, like I say, guys, I couldn't be more excited and fascinated about what's coming our way next Friday, April 12th. By the way, it's going to start 11 a.m. until 12 p.m., I believe it is, and a lot is really going to happen at the panel. I got to say, I'm very excited. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this whole entire teaser trailer and what will be demonstrated in it all within the footage. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>